Hello everyone, this is Satyendra here and I have come up with a cool feature of Power BI wherein you can fetch your data from Power BI desktop or Power BI web service to SQL Server. Yes, you heard it right. Recently, I was in a discussion with one of my colleagues and we came up with the situation wherein we had to pull data from Power BI desktop to SQL Server. We did some research and came up with a cool feature which you can use using R script. Yes, R script. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the same feature, same functionality. Before I start that, please subscribe my channel so that you can keep getting the latest update and videos from my channel. In order to demonstrate this functionality, I have already opened Power BI desktop over here, which we can connect to our test data and I do have a SQL Server Management Studio opened over here. You can see under my DB, I don't have any table at this moment. What we are going to do is we'll connect to this SQL Server using Power BI Desktop R script and we'll create a table based out of our data model there, right? In order to begin, let me just connect to one of the data sources what I have. I have this file called test data that Excel format will connect to this file. It has some data which I want to kind of, you know, create a table in SQL Server. We'll just select this particular sheet so that you can see the preview that what type of data I have. I'll click on transform data. It's going to kind of show you all the data in transform tab in Power BI desktop, right? So you can see multiple fields over here. Now out of these fields, I will be kind of inserting some of this data into the SQL Server table. Now at the place of loading all the rows, let me just choose some of these fields which we can kind of load into the table. So for example, I'm going to choose some columns which I want to kind of create a table there. So for that, let's say I select field one, field two, some of the fields. Randomly, you can choose some of these fields, whichever you want to kind of create a table with. So yes, I have, you know, these fields identified, which I want to load into SQL Server table. Now, the important part, in order to create this table, we are going to utilize a functionality which is known as R script. So run R script into your Power BI desktop. This will help you create table into SQL Server right? But there is a prerequisite that what you need to meet, right? For the benefit of time and everyone's, you know, attention, I have already kind of copied a script what we need to run over here. This is the script what we need to run into run our script within the Power BI desktop. You can see that we are importing a library called RODBC, right? So you may not have R installed on your system, but you need this library as a must to have before running this script. Yes, you heard it right. We really need our ODBC library on your system. Then only this functionality is going to work. Apart from this, you need to define the connection to your SQL server. So this is the syntax what we have put over here, the script what I have put over here, but we really need to feed in some of the values what which are related to our SQL server. So like server name, database wherein you want to fetch the data and the table name which you want to create a table with right so these three entries you need to make i'll go back to my sql server so that i can get server name so i'll say connect i copy this name we'll put it over here as a sql server instance then database so in my case my uh, the name of database is my db so we'll put it over here like my DB and then table name. So I don't have any tables right now. So what I'll do, I'll just create a dummy table over here wherein I can put this data. So we'll say dummy table, right? Yes. So this is the table name which is going to get created as soon as I run this script. So we are calling our ODBC library. We have defined the connection with our server, with the database name, and ultimately I have given a table name that is going to get created with the defined connection. So once we do it, I'll just click on OK. Here we go. The script is running. Yes. 
Yep, you got a response over here. The table is empty. Yes, you got a correct response. If you are getting like a table is empty, then which means the table in SQL Server got created, right? Apart from this, you might get some warning or sign related to permissions. So in case you get it, you can select public and you you are kind of, you know, going to get connected to your SQL Server. Now I'll just go back to SQL Server and we'll see whether the table got created or not. So as of now, it's there. I'll just refresh. Now over here under tables, you can see the dummy table have been created. I'll right click and say select thousand rows. So you can see all the fields what I selected over there. Field 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and field 29 and 30. So table has been created over here. So yes, we created a table out of Power BI desktop and the table got fed over here in SQL Server. Now the point comes, can we automate this step or can we do it from the Power BI web service? So the answer to those question is yes. In order to in order to make it an automated process, you can use a Python script which is used to refresh your Power, uh, Power BI workbook or you can create a gateway and reschedule your refresh. So these are the multiple ways by which you can automate this process so that whatever data model you have in Power BI desktop, you can get a continuous refresh and get that data loaded into SQL Server. Guys, feel free to ask any question related to this, any dependency like R and all related to this. I'll be happy to answer. In case you have a thought or suggestion, please feel free to put that comment onto my channel. I will be happy to answer your questions and doubts and we'll come up with a cool video in next session. Thanks for watching. Have a nice time. Bye bye.